Hey there and welcome to this quick, uh, hopefully nine minute video on how to configure CouchDrop, the SFTP server for the cloud, to work with SharePoint. Uh, so you get SFTP for SharePoint. Let's get straight to it. So quick introduction before we, we dive in. Um, my name is Michael Lawson. I head up the engineering team here at CouchDrop. Um, we're a Christchurch based technology company with customers all around the world. We have two products, CouchDrop, uh, which is the cloud SFTP server, and MoveBot, the simple data transfer and migration tool. Um, we're a SaaS vendor, we're cloud first, and we like to think our products get better every week. So send us your, your feedback, and we'd love to hear from you um, and understand how we can help you uh, with your cloud transformation needs. Okay, so today we're going to demo uh, configuring CouchDrop as an SFTP server um, on top of SharePoint uh, cloud storage. This is a very common use case for, for CouchDrop, uh, especially in the healthcare and the finance industries. Um, and so what we're going to do first is connect to SharePoint. So we're going to mount CouchDrop um, or mount SharePoint inside CouchDrop. Then we're going to create a user and then we're going to see how that user would send and receive files via SFTP um, and via the web browser um, directly with uh, SharePoint. So let's dive straight in. All right. So welcome to CouchDrop. Um, if you haven't seen it before, this is our, our web interface and everything is managed via this, uh, this front end. I'm an administration or administrator owner um, on, on this CouchDrop account and so I can see everything in the organization. Uh, including create, you know, which enables me to create and remove accounts, create and move, remove storage, and manage the organization. Um, at the moment, we don't have any storage connected, so the first thing we're going to do is actually link with SharePoint. Uh, so we look for SharePoint in this list. It's top of the list because it's very popular. We we'll click Add Connection, and we're going to now put in our. SharePoint domain. In our case, it's uh, couchdropdemo.sharepoint.com. We're going to click connect now. And on my side, uh, this gives us an OAuth screen. Uh, so we're just going to accept. And now SharePoint is connected. Uh, next up, we're actually going to select the, the SharePoint uh, site that we want to mount inside CouchDrop. And so I have a couple of demo sites. Uh, I'm going to choose the default site because I think that's the one that makes the most sense. And we will save that. Okay, so now we can see that SharePoint has appeared inside CouchDrop. And if we jump into this quickly, um, we can see that there's a couple of document libraries. And under these document libraries, we have data. So that's perfect. Um, what we'll do now is just jump across to SharePoint and create a folder. I'm going to call this um, input, input SFTP folder 1. <clears throat> so that's the folder uh, that our customers are going to be uploading and downloading files from um, via SFTP. So if we go back here and we just refresh the screen, we will see that folder appear. Perfect. All right, so the next step in this process is to actually add a user account. Uh, this is very straightforward as well. So we're gonna go into administration, create users, and then we're gonna click create new user. We give this user a meaningful name. And so we'll give them an email address as well, but that's of course optional. They're gonna be a standard user and we're gonna set a password on their account. And the most important step in this process is the root directory. Um, so this is the directory that this particular user will live in and they won't have access to any resources outside that directory, uh, which is exactly what we want. So we're gonna select SharePoint, we're gonna go into the documents, document library, and then we're gonna select input SFTP folder. Right, and this particular user is going to be allowed to upload, download, and delete files uh, that appear inside the SharePoint directory. I'm just going to have a quick look at some of the other options that we have. So we have some access controls here. 
Um, we can prevent access uh, from certain IP addresses or only allow access from certain IPs. We can also disable um, different upload and download mechanisms as well. And so you have SFTP here, we also have the web portal and we have the, um, the upload portal and the inbox as well. Uh, FTP is disabled by default. And then of course you can also make a, a user um, expire as well. Um, in this case we're, going to, we're not going to give the user any expiry and we're just going to click save. Wait for that to save. Always takes a couple of seconds. Perfect. So now we have that user account. Uh, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to log in as that user. So just log out of CouchDrop as the admin user and log in as this particular user. And now when that loads. Okay. So what we can see here is uh, that we've logged into that new user uh, via the, the web interface and we're sitting inside an empty folder and that empty folder is actually uh, the input SFTP uh, folder one in SharePoint. And so if we upload a file quickly, so we've got an Excel spreadsheet here. That file will appear in CouchDrop, and if we jump across to SharePoint and we refresh that, we can see that file has appeared in SharePoint. And now, of course, SFTP is often not web-based. Um, so what you can do is click Connect to Demo 10, and then you get all the SFTP, uh, FTP, SCP, and S3 connection details as well. And so if we jump across to uh, one of our online FTP clients, so I have a client called Filestash, which is a great little um, utility for testing out uh, SFTP connectivity. Put the host name in, which is demo 10couchdrop Then we need the username, which is demo 10 SFTP upload. I chose quite a long username, which is probably not uh, useful at all. Then we're gonna connect. And this, this connection is just the same as if you were connecting via FileZilla or Transmit or any other um, SFTP platform or client, sorry. Uh, the CouchDrop is completely uh, client independent. As you can see there, we actually have that book too, uh, .xls file sitting there. And so this particular user could then upload a, a new file. Uh, so I think I have another file here. Upload spreadsheet.xlsx. That file is winging its way from file stash through to SharePoint. And then we see it. So that file has been uploaded from file stash, which is connecting to CouchDrop via SFTP. Uh, and then CouchDrop is pushing that file across to SharePoint. And CouchDrop is not actually storing that file at all. And that's it. Uh, it's as simple as that. Uh, you can of course configure and connect as many users as you would like. Uh, you can configure and connect to multiple SharePoint organizations uh, and you can get very very granular with the permission schemes and what is exposed and how users uh, can interact with the system. Um, and thanks for watching. If, if you have any more any questions or would like a, an in-person demo, um, please contact sales at couchdrop.io uh, or alternatively, you can actually register for a 14-day um, free trial with CouchDrop and if you need more time, we would be more than happy to, to allow that. Thanks for watching. Bye.